Hi guys, it is me, Stace. I am back again today with another Toddler Tuesday video, and I think this craft is really fun for the little ones. We are making a bird feeder from a recycled coffee can. Really fun. Alright, so here's my can here. This was just a Master Chef brand of coffee. You can pick that up at Walmart. Any size can or any kind of can you have is fine. You want to make sure that the can is metal, and more importantly that it has a plastic lid. We're going to go ahead and cut the lid in half and glue that, as you see here, one half to one side and the other half to this side. So it'll hold the bird seed in there and also act as a little place for the bird to sit while they're eating the um, bird seed. So what I'm going to do, take this lid off, and this one is safe. You do want to use a safety can opener on that end. Empty the coffee out. We're going to go ahead and prime this. I'll probably, be, I'll probably use two coats of primer. You do want to use a primer, that way your acrylic paint will stick to that. And then we're going to fill it up with bird seed. And I just have this um, Pennington Classic Walled Bird Feed. We got that from Walmart. When it's all done, we're gonna paint it as we, as we did here, and then take some juke to hang it in the tree for a little fun little treat for the birds. I'm gonna go and do that, and we'll be back and finish up our can. Hey guys, we are back. Um, my can is dried. We're now gonna work on the lid. Now you see here with the lid, I went ahead and cut this one directly in half, and I think this one, by looking at it, is a tad bit too tall. So I'm actually gonna cut this lid in half a little bit shorter. And in most lids, you're going to find there's a dot there for the center. So I'm going to take my scissors and just go along that dot first and then trim a little bit. I'm going to go probably about a quarter inch off on this half here. Okay. And then a quarter inch off on this half. So we're a little bit shorter than that one. I do think I like it shorter. And then we're going to go ahead and put this one on here just for size. Yeah, definitely shorter. And right, now you want to go ahead and glue this in, in place. I'm using the E6000 glue. Um, I guess you can probably use any kind of glue you have. I just like this one because I know it's pretty strong. Probably a super glue I think would work fine here. A um, tacky glue, a you know, um, hot glue might work. And I'm going to find the end of my can and line my end up with that. Okay, so just go ahead and snap that guy in place. This way when I have my other piece on there, I'm sure they're going to be in the same spot. I'm going to just give that a press. Alright, flip it over. And put glue on here. I know with this glue, it's supposed to be like a two-step kind of glue. Like you let this one sit on here and let it make contact with that one, but I didn't do that. And I think you're fine. Again, I'm going to find my seam here and then glue this guy down. Just hold it there for a minute. I think I actually need to put the glue on the rim part, on the outer part of it. So this part mom and dad need to do. This glue is almost just as stringy as hot glue is. All right, make sure I'm going the right way. Okay, and get it on there. Again, just give it a press, and you can kind of look through it. That's how I'm looking through it to make sure I'm kind of even with the other one. All right, gonna wipe my hands off that glue off my hands. All right, now you want to let this glue dry. You know, it says 40 hours or 24 hours. I think you'll probably get away with a few hours to work on it. All right, we're gonna let this dry for, like I said, for a moment and work on finishing up this can. So what we're gonna do to hang it in the tray is just take some of this um, jute cording. And again, the length is gonna depend on how high up in the tree you want it to go. And I'm just gonna feed it through the top of the can. I thought about taking my big bite and punching a hole in it, and it would work, but on this side it won't because you had that little rim right there. I'm not going to use a terrible amount of this. You know, just hang on a little branch. I'm going to turn it this way because I knot it. I guess I almost like I forgot how to tie a knot. Okay, nice and snug. I'm going to double knot it. Okay, 
Okay, gonna cut the rest of that off right there. And you can leave the extra here if you want to. All right, that's gonna hang it and keep it nice and even. Now with the bird seed to fill it, this may be the tricky part. I would probably use a scoop if I had one near me. And just go ahead and put it in there. And this will also weigh it down. Yeah, I would use a scoop. I'm making a mess. Again, that's where the shower curtain comes in handy. But I would definitely use like a little scoop or a spoon for the little ones. Otherwise, you're going to be uh, vacuuming birdseed up for a year. Okay, just put enough in there to kind of cover the bottom. You don't need to fill it all the way up. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see there. It's filled with birdseed. Really, really cute. Isn't that darling? Love it. All right, let's go ahead and clean up my mess. I'm going to skid it on the one side to keep most of it on my table. And we're going to go back and paint this can. Let me show you guys how I painted it. Really fun. All right, take a paper plate. And we're going to grab some paint. I have some orange here. You don't need a whole lot either, just a few dollops. We have some red, and this is um, flag red, and that orange was pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie? No, pumpkin orange, I'm sorry. Then we have real green. I know these are mostly Christmas colors, but that's the paint I had. But I think any kind of paint you have um, would work. You could probably even, you know, use washi tape on it or duct tape, all kinds of fun things. And I have this really, really pretty metallic gold color. This is called Royal Gold. All right, then our paint tool is going to be a pencil. You want to have a new one that has a new eraser on it. And literally just go around, I put my finger through it, make a dot in that, and kind of dot it off, and then dot. Okay, just dot it all the way around. You know, and you could try other things as well, like a Q-tip, I think. You know, maybe try different things to use as a paintbrush, if you would. You know, to see what the kids bring out. And I say over and over again, the best part of kids crafting is let their imagination take over. You know, don't say what's right or wrong. Let them do it their way. few more orange dots and if you make if you make a glob so be it right it'd be globby all right to clean it off just take a piece of paper towel again wipe it off and then go back in with a new color so I'm gonna put my hand back in there let's go with green this time you see you guys get the idea right I mean you could probably use stickers on here um, but you want if you're gonna put it outside and make it be like a real bird feeder, I think stickers might wear off with the weather, depending on where you are. Or even with a little bit of rain, I think the stickers may peel off and it may be bad for the birds. I'm not sure. Okay, where else do I need green? Maybe one down here. Okay, clean off our, our eraser and go into color number three. I'm going to go with gold. This gold is really, really pretty. But I think washi tape would work really well. Duct tape would work. Okay, we got to make sure we leave room for our red. And if you want to go with, you know, just all the same color, you can do that. Okay, maybe a gold one here. And see, I got like a little string. That's fine. And a gold one there. All right, clean it off again and go to our last color, which was red. I'm just taking on my plate and I'm kind of dabbing it off like that so I don't have the big puddle on that. Looks like we'll have less red on here. I mean, you know, with the rows on the cans, they can also do one row a certain color. You know, just do dots all in red on the one row and then do green, make it like a pattern. I'm telling you, let the kids' imagination go loose and you'll be shocked at how creative they are. All right, a few more. And we are done. 
Maybe one more over here. The crafter in me always wants to go back and say, oh, I need more red. Another color. Okay, but you guys get the idea, right? And I do like that we cut the little a little bit shorter. I mean, I can't show them to you side by side because I'll spill out the bird seed, but go and let this dry. You can sand it up. You know, if, you're, if you've got big globs, you may want to, you know, maybe dab it off a little bit so it's not going to strain run. But let it dry. You know, it's just acrylic paint. It'll take a few, a few seconds to dry. Grab some cording and a, um, some bird seed, hang it in the tree, and watch the birds come. You know, maybe even pick up like a little bird book at the library um, so the kids can learn what kind of birds are coming. You know, it's just a really great way to get them involved in nature and just a really fun recyclable craft at that. So there you guys have it. Today's Toddler Tuesday. I really, guys, I hope you guys enjoy it and I try it. you try it with your little ones. I think it's super fun. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.